Hey everyone, welcome back. I have a very special guest with me today, Ivanka from The Tidy Moose. She is a professional KonMari certified consultant and today we are going to declutter the closet. Woo! <laughs> so Ivanka, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Cause this whole like KonMari thing, you know, I've done a little bit of like my own decluttering, my own like minimalism stuff, but you're like a pro at it. Um, so I am a professional home organizer. I've been doing it for five years now. Mm -hmm. And I was one of the first people trained by Marie Kondo's crew to be her little minion. So I am a certified master KonMari consultant and I travel the world working with clients to help them find inner peace through decluttering an organization. The beauty of the KonMari method is that everyone has their own little spin. I throw in the mental health component, the sustainability component, and the minimalism component, and I kind of package that up with a nice little bow, and that's what I present to my clients. Okay, so we are gonna start pulling things out of the closet, but actually, fun fact that we forgot to mention, Ivanka and I go way back like to the olden days of church and Sunday school, and some like Ukrainian dancing. Yes, that's right. We did it all. We did. <laughs> okay, so real quick, this is what we've got going on with the before. I'd say nicely pared down, but we can always do a little bit more. These are my dress pants. There's Ivanka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so in here we have my denim which i never claim to be a minimalist about all right how do you feel i don't judge you <laughs> like i said we all have our journeys like your thing is denim it sure is okay and this one so this is all my workout gear uh these are joggers that i wear to work a lot and then just my bras awesome and, and you know then... what i'm not even going to ask what's in these because pro tip never ask what's in the tiny drawers because you almost <laughs> never want to know. <laughs> so we're gonna stop it right there. You're laughing, which means she's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it all. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we just pull everything out. We pull it out, but we take it off the hangers. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. we're, it's a full It's a full process. You're like, why do, why do I wanna do that? Because the hangers, like they block an energy. So when you're holding the item, when you're deciding what sparks joy, we wanna leave the metal and other material out there so that we're only interacting with the clothing item itself. Wow, okay, that's something I've never actually done. I am I did the, like the lazy girl way of just doing like the, you yeah. know, more mm -hmm. of like a cleaning thing as opposed to like a, a an energy thing. Yeah, like it's a pretty spiritual concept, which I which I love in, in a sense, because it's really it really makes you appreciate what you spend your money on. So we're gonna make a pile on the bed of the items. I'm gonna go on that side and start emptying out your dresser. Okay. And then we will go from there. Just stay out of the top drawer, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm taking things out, I purposely unfold them to give them a chance to breathe so that when you are making the decision of does this spark joy, does it not, you're making it on the full garment itself, not just this. Okay. That said, your items are very nicely folded. 10 points for you. <laughs> this makes me feel like I still have a lot to do, but at the same time, this is where my joy is. Right. So. And that is the point of why we do this. You want to see all of your things together so that you can realize, oh, maybe I don't need so many of this one item, or maybe I'm okay with so many of that item. It's not, it's not a wrong or right. It's how you feel when you see this process. I will tell you, most clients cry when we go through this. I think in five years, I've had two clients not get emotional. Wow. Everyone else does because they realize, why was I buying this? Was I buying this for myself? Or, and this is mostly the answer, was I buying this to impress people? And here's the thing, we've all heard the saying, we spend money we don't have to buy things we don't need to impress people we don't even like. So that's something that you really wanna hone in on and that's why a lot of us buy. So when you see all of those items in one place, you're like, oh God, like I do not want to be this person anymore. So we have everything on the bed. What's next? Okay, so you and I are gonna have a conversation about what what are the struggles that you're having? Because we all have something that we wanna work on. What is that for you? I struggle a lot with like this fantasy self that I feel like I always wanna be achieving. I still find that she comes up again when I see like an inspiration photo on Instagram. If you were, let's say, one of the TV stations called, they're like, 
can you come and talk about your debt-free life? What are you choosing? What is gonna be your go-to outfit that you're like, yes, I feel good in this, I rock this, I feel confident in this. What would be that outfit? It's probably like just a pair of jeans, black Converse, black blazer, and a white t-shirt. There's your answer, right? Yeah. I purposely use the word TV because that's not something most of us do on a day-to-day -day basis. That's like your above and beyond. So it's funny because I would have thought like, oh, TV, it's gotta be this, this guy. Right? right, she's flashy. But it wasn't. That's kind of what you want to hone in on. That's what makes you feel most comfortable. Your demeanor even changed when you were talking about it. You're yeah. like, you're like, I know this answer, loser, <laughs> I got this. So that's kind of what how you want to be thinking going through this. Okay. So instead of focusing on what we're getting rid of, that's what I love about the KonMari method is we focus on what stays. So the questions we ask ourselves, does this spark joy? If we want to take it a little bit further with my clients, I ask them the question, is this improving my quality of life? If I were shopping right now, would I buy this? So if you're stuck on the spark joy, ask yourself one of those other two. Maybe why don't we start in this section and kind of work our way out that way and then we'll get we'll end with the denim. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
How, you'd be like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Because it has no attachment to you. Our items have a sentimental and emotional attachment. What are some of the most common decluttering barriers that you see? So one of the big ones is the financial component that mm -hmm. I spoke of because people say, well, I spent money on this, I have to keep it. Whereas going through and saying goodbye, sometimes I even do this is I will tally up the no pile and that's painful. And I say, yes. However, you've stopped, you've stopped the process there. Moving forward, you're gonna remember how awful this feeling is and you're gonna say, I'm not doing this again. I'm a professional. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a way to like put things back? after yes. you've done this? Yes, so when you're putting things in, try to keep like items together, which you already were doing. Uh -huh. And I go from dark to light. When you open it this way, mm -hmm. you wanna see the light first. Because okay. you don't want the first thing to see when you open up your closet to be greeted with darkness. It's like, hello, I'm darkness. You wanna be like, hello, it's morning, and this is a white shirt. Oh. So I might swap this. Okay. I'll swap these ones out. And then it'll be the lighter items here and then the darker, heavier ones here. Oh, interesting. I had it the exact opposite. I think it kind of keeps going back to that, right? Like the, it's a feeling, it's energy. It's how, how you want to feel when you open your closet, when you put your things on. Your day starts the second you open your eyes. Yeah. What do you see? If you have a cluttered bedroom, the first thing you see when you open your eyes is clutter. The last thing you see before you close them is clutter. So if you can eliminate that, which you have done very well, you can sleep peacefully. Same as when you wake up, you start by seeing the light and you're like, I am going to start my day on a bright note. I love that. Ivanka, show us the, show us the famous KonMari folding method. Okay, so KonMari results with the tidy moose method. So it's like a KonMari hack. With the KonMari method, you lay it down, kind of how you just did, and you fold it over, you press your energy through, and it, it's a time-consuming process. A lot of people are busy and don't have time for that. So what I do is I take it like I would normally. Most people fold their shirts like this. You fold it over, like so, right? All I do is I flip it over, and then I fold the top part in, one, two, and then I will see the Harley Davidson logo or whatever logo is on the shirt so you know when you're picking it up which one to go for. Because oh, sometimes okay. with the KonMari method, it'll hide right? it sometimes. It'll, yeah, like you'll see that. Yeah. So you're like, is this a black shirt or is it my Harley Davidson shirt or which shirt is it? So this way you just, with your pincher fingers, you just fold it in and the lines will form automatically. They just, and then you just kind of adjust this if you need to. Fold that over. And the beauty is the fold will always be the same because your hands are always the same size. So there will be consistency if you're the one folding your laundry. Wow. Applause, people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have been left with the denim pile. We're going to do some inner work here. We are. This is, <laughs> and that's why you leave the hardest thing to last. Okay. I'm going to treat you like you're five years old, okay? okay. I'm going to count to ten. I need it sometimes. <laughs> and you are going to, in that ten seconds, you're going to make a yes and a maybe pile, not even no's. Okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll give you an extra five seconds and you're crazy. Well, then. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the full ten, you're crazy. Team, this team, Devia, Desia. Ta da! <laughs> There's your yeses. Wow, look at that. So that's pretty good. And this is sentimental because these are my mom's jeans. Yeah. Okay, so, but you can keep that. Just put it at the back. Like, you're not gonna wear them maybe too often mm -hmm. or ever. And, and that's okay too. Like, if there's something that you're not gonna ever wear, but it reminds you of something very special, then you can keep it. So, as someone who lost a parent, I can tell you that there, there are items that I wish I had kept to remind me of my mother a little bit more. And there's obviously a balance there too. You don't want to keep everything. Mm -hmm. But if this is something that really brings you joy, that's okay to keep. You just want to avoid living your life <laughs> with a hundred pairs of these. Yeah. Right? Like there's balance to everything. But there's there's no rule saying you can't because this is a different type of spark joy. So right. these we will get to keep. And then you've got a pretty good selection. And I think I think you are okay. Oh, and by the way, this was always a no pile. I tricked you. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. If okay. You, if you weren't fighting me to keep it, 
See if you can live with just this. Like yeah. you don't have to get rid of this today. Put it aside. And then when you realize you're like, oh, I didn't actually need any of this. Unless you're invited to a plaid blazer party. And then you're like, Ivanka, I got rid of it. Thanks a lot. But I think I, I think you should be safe because these are your spark joy. Like this yeah. is what a spark joy closet looks like. Okay, so Ivanka is just going through and folding all of my maybes, which were secretly toss pile. Um <laughs> So she does the decluttering in a very specific way. So I'm gonna have her talk about it. Yeah, so when you decide what's staying, what's going, and you have your time to go pile, whether you're selling, donating, whatever, it's really important for your own personal energy and the energy of the items to treat them with respect even on their way out. So I don't ever just wrinkle this up and throw it in a bag. So me crumpling it up, throwing it in a bag is showing that I don't really have respect for the item which in a way kind of means I don't have respect for myself and the money I spent on it. So there's that component. Also, the people receiving it deserve their respect as well. Whether you're selling it or donating, it's it's just a respect thing all around for the items and for the people. And it takes an extra few seconds. It's not a big deal. I'm not folding them super crazy, but they're folded, they're not crinkled. They make a nice pile mm -hmm. and everyone is happy. And here we have the after. And like my shoes, they're out, I can see them. And then my dress pants. And this is the let go pile. Like who thought, oh no, I have bronzer on here. <laughs> so who would have thought I would have been able to even give all this away? I thought that I was like such a pro at decluttering, but. I do. <laughs> Ivanka really helps. Also, I don't mean to alarm you, but this one has a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> it sure does. I love dad jokes. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, this is the declutter pile. I didn't think I had things to get rid of, but... I, I didn't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> I am very impressed by this. I've done a lot of declutters, and this feels like such a weight off my shoulders even because I, you also like pushed me a little bit. I think a lot of us do this alone at home, but I mean, I think seeking the help from a professional or just like doing it with somebody else to sort of ask the hard questions, just to push you a little further and kind of get you right. through, I think it really helps and be That's, impressed with the result. That, that is a pretty good result. And the thing is, <laughs> A, sometimes you don't know the hard questions to ask yourself. Yeah. And also sometimes we don't want to go that far. We're like, I will do this to my comfort level and, and that's okay, but like that'll get certain results. It's like going to the gym. Some people can go to the gym and just do the workout. Whereas I need a personal trainer. That's what I am. I'm a personal trainer of decluttering, yeah. right? Okay. And you didn't cry. That's impressive. <laughs> I, I wanted to, I feel like. <laughs> You're like, remember when I went and got you water? That's what I <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Ivanka. And where can people find you if they want to check out more? So just search up Tidy Moose, T-I-D-Y, not tiny, like tidy. Moose um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Tiny Moose. <laughs> I'm a minimalist except for when I'm speaking. Also guys, we had a really good conversation here. Um, mm -hmm. Ivanka and I really vibe on a lot of things. So let me know, should we like start a podcast? Leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought of this. Let me know if you wanna see Ivanka back on the channel. I'd be happy to have her back and learn more all things tidying, minimalism, and everything in between. Thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks Ivanka for being here Thank today. Thank you for having me. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to give Ivanka a follow and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.